This morning when I went to get my coffee, someone um, who was with me ordered soy milk in their coffee, which reminded me of how everybody takes their coffee in New York. That doesn't relate it back to the book, though, but it does relate it to New York. Um, I tried to set it in, uh, in the years before we started to write a lot of emotional emails or emotional texts, and, um, but, and I also had to get around that by using uh, postcards and post-it notes, which you still all use, but it, it was a difficult thing, yes. I had um, pretty much all of the story written out in my mind, written out on paper, but as I found weird little objects, I would write them into the story if I liked them, and they would inspire certain turns of plot and certain scenes. Uh, two years. Well, I um, since a lot of them were mine to begin with, I've just recirculated them back into use. So now the pajamas are being used by my boyfriend, and the vases have flowers in them, and the teapots have tea in them, and um, some of the stuff is kept in a kept in a box in my studio, um, and I've given a lot of other pieces away. Well, I wouldn't quite know what what the money raised from the auction would go to. I thought maybe couples therapy or some sort of some sort of uh, charity that involved um, involved uh, angry fighting lovers. <laughs> I don't know where it would go. Uh, today I'm wearing um, used rubber boots from um, an old riding a riding supply store. I'm wearing men's, do I have to stand up? If you like to. I'm wearing men's, um, <laughs> men's tuxedo pants. I think I got them used again at a secondhand store. My friend Rachel Comey is a fashion designer and I help her with prints sometimes and she repays me in clothes so she gave me this shirt. And she also made these, she also made these great Aww. mittens. <laughs> I can model. <laughs> So those are Rachel's too. And your bag, the very nice. Oh, bag. I found it at a flea market. I think I think some some old ladies made it. <laughs>